The electoral map is much improved. Uh, you had all these people the last two weeks saying, the race is over, the path is closed. We have six different active routes to 270, and we're pursuing them all. It's not a big mystery what they are, because you see where we have deployed our two greatest assets, Mike Pence and Donald Trump, the last few days, where will be today. We have Clinton and her team on defense. We force them, we're dipping into their so-called 248 blue wall, Joe, and we have them, we force them back into places like Michigan and Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Nevada, Colorado, these blue states that Barack Obama carried twice. And by the way, he carried them with well over a comfortable 50% margin. She's nowhere near that. I've said many times in your show, I'll say it again. She's never able to get to 50% and stay there in any of these key states. I think that's a troubling sign for somebody who represents the status quo. On the eve of the election, what in the world are people going to learn about Hillary Clinton that's going to make them say, you know, I can look past the lies and the corruption. I can look past at the decades of personal enrichment. I can look past at the fact that they sell access and favors and that she's got a pretty unremarkable record in the Senate or a Secretary of State. It's not happening. We're going to win this election. She's out there with Beyonce, Jay-Z, Bruce Springsteen, Bon Jovi, and Donald Trump's out there with the people. And so it's a huge contrast. It really, in these closing days, it tells you exactly what's so different about these two candidates. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.